Let's find out. Let's find out what Salty Cracker wants to say about Tom Hanks. Historical inequities you weren't responsible for. You just said it was your family members, not you. You had nothing to do with it. So I ask you, of critical race theory, we should address historical inequities. What are you personally doing to address your family's inequities? Are you redistributing your money, giving back property? I'm just kind of wondering if people live by their own, you know, their own principles. Unfortunately, with that illustrious history, it did not come with a lot of wealth. So I, w I wish I was in a situation where there could be something to be given away. Okay. Uh-oh. Looks like Tom Hanks has come out of his Epstein hidey hole, my friends, and he's running his mouth. He's out there typing opinion pieces for the venerable New York Times. Dude's looking greasy these days. Spoon. Oh, boy. Dude, you okay? My friends. Man, all these conservatives look like they're fucking... They look like they're, like, getting sick. I, they're, like, growing the pandemic beards out now. Oh, because... Oh, wait a minute. It's because, oh, I get it. They didn't get vaccinated. Oh, so now they're now they're getting the pandemic beards. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah, they're down bad. Yeah, they're getting the pandemic beards now because like nobody will fuck them because they don't have vaccines. Is he coming out during Pride Month and telling everybody how great America is? How great this big, beautiful country is that allowed him to get his start to make his bones dressing as a woman. That would be apt. Probably not. Maybe he's coming what? out to tell everybody, listen, America, you know. Can you, is, is it? I'm sorry. Look, he sounds like he's slurring really bad here. Like really bad. Is he drunk? During Pride Month listen. and telling everybody how great America is. How great this big, beautiful country is that allowed him to get his start to make his bones dressing as a woman. That would be apt. Probably not. Maybe he's coming out to tell everybody. Listen. Maybe America he's coming out to tell everybody. America, what the you fuck? Know, it he's wasn't fucked born up. Without he's fucked up. He's fucking drunk. This guy's drunk. Holy shit. Sin, but then again, no place is born without sin. No country is born without any blood on its hands. But America's the best. The he's drunk. He's absolutely drunk. The best place for upward mobility for anybody, for any sexual orientation, for any gender, any skin color. There is no better place on this planet than America, which is... <laughs> He's literally drunk. He's actually fucked up. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, uh, this is... Oh my God, this is going to be great. Oh, this like, is going to be great. All you motherfuckers on this planet still come to the mouth, right? That's America of all time, right? Is that, is that what he's going to do? No, of course not. What are we talking about, boys? He's going to come out here and go, hey, man, we need to propagandize your kids in the public school system. Yep, yep. Yep, you stupid fucking white motherfuckers pay, paying taxes over here. We're going to use your own money to teach your children. Did you just snot all over me? This cat's... Dude's fucking drunk. Dude is 100% drunk. <laughs> is he nasty. gonna vom? This cat's nasty. Keep Tom Hanks away from your kids and your cats, boys. Probably good advice out there. But anyway, no, no, no. All you stupid. Wait, wait. So he's calling. Wait, right now he's calling. He's he's making a joke about Tom Hanks being a pedo and a cat rapist because Tom Hanks said that racism is important. White motherfuckers paying taxes. We're going to take that tax money, and while your kids are in these public schools, we're going to use that money to teach your kid how much white people suck. That's what he's doing. That's what this is all about. Tom Hanks, schools and Hollywood must portray the burden of racism in our nation. This is Breitbart. And uh, what are you talking about? How do you get to talk about our school? You aren't even in this country anymore. You fled this country. When every single one of these pedophiles like Ghislaine Maxwell or uh, Jeffrey oh. Epstein were being arrested. Well oh, he's a he actually is. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Q channel. Oh, yeah, I forgot he's really into Q stuff, right? All of these kid fucker rings were being decimated. You decided it would be a good time to leave this country. I'm sure that is all happenstance. I'm sure that's all. A co okay. Have you all noticed? Have you all noticed that like? Have you all noticed that like? That's all that anybody talks about anymore. 
I swear to God. All, all of politics has become about this shit. Like, I mean, literally. I fucking hate this shit. I hate this timeline. Coincidence? I am not alluding to anything, and I would never say that this dude owns a whole shit ton of $80,000 Wayfair cabinets, my friends. No, 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 no. I'm sure he's an upright citizen. He's from oh, fucking Holy... Oh, he's referencing the Wayfair thing. Oh, no. Oh, so he's gone full Q. Like, hardcore Q. What, boys? These people are as clean and pure as the driven snow, right? Anyway, uh, you're not even here. Don't talk about our schools. You're not even here, right? Anyway, an op-ed from actor Tom Hanks published in the New York... Okay, for those of you who don't know... Uh, the joke about Wayfair is referencing a conspiracy theory that Wayfair was secretly shipping children um, on behalf of uh, of the 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 cabal, and there were because there was a bunch of like super overpriced um, stuff online, and they they believed you worked there during that the calls that you got. Yeah, I imagine. I bet you did. I bet you got a lot of calls. Fuck. York Times Friday urges Yeah, like they the the argument was that they were hiding children in cabinets and then shipping them. Americans to quote, learn about the truth of the Tulsa Wraith Massacre, everybody. You see this? See how this is working? You see how they're hitting everybody over the head with the Tulsa Race Massacre? Wait. The Tulsa Race Massacre was a fucking horrific event in American history. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? This guy is drunk. This guy is just actually drunk. They're like, holy shit. We gotta Hold on, let me remind you of something, everybody. 200,000 200, views, almost. Almost 200,000 views on this since the 6th. It's the 7th. 30,000 likes, 200,000 views since yesterday. Find something. All right. Uh, we keep telling everybody that America has never been more racist than it is now. That black people are being systematically hunted by the systemic pro uh, racist police out there. Because, of course, every aspect of our policing de is derived from slavery. <laughs> they're out there trying to relive slavery by catching and killing black people. So, I don't know, what they're teaching in critical race theory is fucking brain aids, my friends. Anyway, they keep s saying all of this. Meanwhile, the only people killing black people are black people right now. They're sitting there going, fuck! All right, well, what do we do? All right. What? Well, did we got any uh, We got any racism last week? No, we ain't got no racism last week. What about racism last year? No, we ain't you got no racism. You can't even understand what he's saying. You you can't even understand what he's saying. Last year. that The news thing? News thing didn't work. You're going to have to go back further. Okay. Well, let's go back 100 years, everybody. 100 years. 2,000 years. Breitbart said, listen, you got about 26 dead black people and 10 dead white people. And then, uh, we're going to talk about the white people, though. We don't care about the white people. The, the, the white people don't matter. And then the lefties go, but it could be anywhere between 75 wait, and... Wait, wait. Literally, the deaths of at least 26 black people and 10 whites. He says they don't care, but it's literally right here. It... He's literally didn't finish the sentence. Like, I know that's hardly the worst thing, but, like... It's literally right here. That's egregious. It's literally at the end of the sentence. 300. Or it could be 26. Why you guys got to run it to three? You got no fucking evidence. You got no proof. Hey, shut up, bigots. Anyway, we got to teach kids about this. We need to teach every single kid in first grade that white people are time travelers. Jean-Claude Van Kill black people or something like this. They're time killers. Boys, time cops, time racism is all coming together. Right? They're going back in time, they're killing black people. By the way, hate whitey. That's what this is all about. This is critical race theory being pushed by fucking... <laughs> being pushed by people from Hollywood, California. Again, a group of people. He was going to JQ. He was going to JQ. That's what this is all about. This is critical race theory being pushed by fucking... 
He was gonna say he was. Oh my God! One more time. Being pushed by people from Hollywood, California. He was gonna say he was gonna JQ. He was gonna say Jewish people by people from Hollywood, California. Holy shit! Let's replay that. You tell me that's not what he was about to say. About this is critical race theory being pushed by fucking <laughs> being pushed by people from Hollywood, California. Again, a group of people who their entire industry is full of kid fuckers, rapists, drug addicts, meth heads. Outside of all of these studios, is fecal matter, urine, hyperdermic needles. I think says the guy who's just obviously blasted out of his mind. I think we don't need to hear anything from you idiots. And then they flee this place. Once the heat gets turned up, once people start getting arrested, these people flee. Interesting how that works. When they're not doing standing ovations for kid fuckers who've had to flee to France, you got people like Tom Hanks over here telling everybody that we need to put CRT in our public school system. He's like, he's telling everybody, man, listen, I, I was never taught. I was never exposed to the Tulsa, the 1921 Tulsa race riot, you know? But, like, for all of my study, I never read a page of any school history book about how, in 1921, a mob of white people burned down a black place called Black Wall Street, and it killed, like, as many as 300 of its black citizens and displaced thousands of black Americans who lived in Tulsa. Apparently, this is, like, this is the type of thing that you, um, apparently this is the type of thing that you read in, like, in a sarcastic voice. Does this seem like, like, unbelievably racist right now? Like, literally just making fun of the fact that this happened? Tulsa, Oklahoma. I never read about it, everybody. Oh, okay. Well, I did. I read about it when I was a kid. You know what else I was told when I was a kid? I was told that Christopher Columbus was a shithead, that Americans are shitheads. And I, the, the public I mean, you're doing a pretty good job proving that Americans are shitheads right now. Education system has been completely upended. No, no, they, they, this is all they talk about, dude. Nobody knows anything about Martin Luther King anymore than the public education system. They just know a white person killed him, right? They, they it is all full blown out race pimping, race pumping into the school system. And he I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? Race pimping? What does that even. I, I don't even know. Like. Between this is one of the newest videos by Salty Cracker, and we just watched the latest video by Matt Walsh, and both of these are so incoherent, and these are getting hundreds of thousands of views, just genuinely incoherent. Like, what does any of this mean? The guy's drunk. This guy is drunk. Here is another one of these pricks from Hollywood, California. Say, yeah, we gotta do it more. We need more of this because. I didn't have it in all of my studies. Hey, fuck you, man. Hey, did you send your shithead kids to, to a public school? Hey, see, he'll push the CRT in the public school system knowing full well that he didn't send his kids to a public school. And, and one of your beat up ass fucking kids over there looks like he's a meth head. Isn't he beating up black chicks? So anyway, he does this whole piece over here. What? And then he comes down and he adds here's sorry, this little uh, end piece over here. America's history is messy, but knowing that makes us wiser and stronger people. 19 America's history is messy. 21 is the truth a portrayal of our shared paradoxical he, history an american black wall street was not allowed to exist i can't was believe he posted this i can't believe years. this video got posted i like i actually can't believe that somebody would post this he he sounds like a dude who was pulled out of a fucking flipped over car next to the bar years later world war ii was won despite institutionalized racial segregation that's a weird statement. Okay. All right. More than 20 years after that, the Apollo mission put 12 men on the moon while others were struggling to vote. So we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have gone to the moon? I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Did I miss something? RT in the public school system knowing full well that he didn't send his kids to a public school. And one of your beat up ass fucking kids over there looks like he's a meth head. Isn't he beating up black chicks? So anyway, he does this whole piece over here. No, no, no. And he no, comes no, down no. and he adds... Here's okay, no, little, no, uh, no, that was a mishearing. That was a mishearing, fanatic. Wall Street was a weird statement. The moon. While others were struggling... I, I, I love the, the naive left it's where they good. think that only Donald Trump... Only the Donald Trump administration has ever lied to America, my friends. It's never happened before. You fucking dipshits. Each of these lessons, Hanks, uh, Hanks says in conclusion, chronicles our quest to live up to our promised 
land that tells the truth that in America are meant to be held as self-evident. America's the best place on this planet, brother. It's the best place on this planet, clearly. This is why you still have people from Africa coming to this country. And isn't it weird that you've got African... What? 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 I don't even know how to respond to this. This is genuinely incoherent. Migrants, but they've just left Nigeria. All right, they they, they... M migrants from Africa. They're migrating across the Atlantic. What? They've jumped over here, and their outcomes are better. Jumped than the out. What the fuck is this guy talking about? I'm actually confused. Like this is almost impossible to react to comes of your, the average black kid in Compton. So how is it systematic racism that's keeping people down in this country? How can you have somebody who actually came from Africa, they've been here 20 years, and uh, all of their kids, the, they have a better outcome than, I don't know, eighth generation individuals from Compton. Hey, how, how did racism hit the kids in LA who've, who've known nothing but America? The racism crept out, the cops came out, and they killed all those. That would imply that the He's, if the people, if the black people from elsewhere are doing good and the black people in America are doing bad, that would imply that America is doing bad things to black people. Literally just made the argument for America being worse. Those black kids in, in Los Angeles, but they didn't kill the African immigrants kids. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's almost like there's something besides who white supremacist cops killing black people. Maybe we should look at, oh, you can't even talk about it. No, 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 no. You can't talk about it. It's only racism. We can't talk about the dad. The dad's in the households. No, can't talk about that. Oh yeah. Nobody ever talks about that, dude. Yo, nobody ever talks about that. Oh yeah. No one ever talks about that for sure, dude. Ass Blaster 138 with the tier 3 sub. Your stream has been an amazing way to start off a long work week. Thank you for doing what you do. And holy shit, these vegans and white boy summers. You're correct. And thank you very much for the incredibly generous tier 3 sub. It means the world to me. We can't talk about the Democrats exploding the black nuclear family. No, can't talk about that either. Oh, that's fucking interesting. Interesting how that works. But here you go. Here's Tom Hanks pushing more critical race theory nonsense, critical race theory propaganda. They only want America portrayed as a racist, black-hating country okay. out there, and white people need to pay the price for it. That's what they want to teach little children in the schools. And he's saying that Hollywood and the school system must play a better uh, role in doing that. The same Hollywood that predominantly paints black people as thugs and murderers? Really? That Hollywood's got to do it? Hollywood, you're supposed to entertain, and the school system's supposed to educate, not propagandize. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video support channel. If you want to be kept up to date on this dude and where he's currently hiding at, hit that subscribe button and make what? Because the salt must flow. Yes, he's, he's clearly drunk. Like, that was, that was the most drunk I've ever seen. That's like Lord of Patriarchy level of drunks. Holy shit. Again, the right is having a real one. And yet, here we go. The people killing black people vote Democrat. It's kind of a tradition. If Hanks is calling for this, then he is admitting his own racism and needs to be dealt with accordingly. Thank you for the sub, Kettle Magic. Really appreciate that. And Fanatic Twims, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I know, I do a good job. I keep these things. Want to check in on Doomcock? Oh, I hear Doomcock's been having a real one. I'm teaching children that Tom Hanks is a demon wearing a skin suit. This is why I'm homeschooling my kids.
As long as Hanks has relocated to Greece, his citizenship should be revoked and his passport invalidated. What? So if you live legally in another country for a while, you should have your citizenship revoked? What the fuck? Dude, these people are insane. What the fuck is wrong with these people? What the absolute fuck is wrong with these people? KA6 character wreck with, with the incredibly generous tier four. Thank you so very much. This guy has made it uh, to get 200,000 views for this level of effort. Look at how he stretched the video to just over 10 minutes. I know, isn't it sad? Isn't it fucking pathetic? These motherfuckers live fucking lives of luxury as they as they literally drunkenly slur QAnon conspiracy nonsense into the ears of a bunch of deluded boomers. And the rest of us actually have to make stuff. So fucking ridiculous. Now this is the kind of thing that makes me doom out. This is the kind of thing that makes me fucking lose my mind. Not really.